one of the finest, most well-known, and certainly the biggest streetball players of all time will always be Troy Jackson. A larger-than-life personality who helped place street basketball on the radar of mainstream sports. Curious to know more? Now let's get deeper into this. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. When Troy Daniels plays in the NBA today, even LeBron James would be terrified. With a height of over 6 feet 10 and a weight of over 500 pounds, Troy is most likely the tallest guy to really be successful at basketball. He moves like a guard and has handles like Kyrie. The league wasn't at all prepared for that smoke and Troy Jackson was something the basketball world had never seen before. After joining the AMD1 mixtape tour in 2002, Troy Jackson immediately rose to recognition on the streetball circuit with his flashy style of play that attracted worldwide notice. He is currently one of the most well-known street basketball talents. ESPN and ESPN2 at the time carried coverage of the one tour and games, both a player and a spokesman. Troy Jackson, he served as a representative of basketball. Troy commanded a lot of screen time because of his charisma and conversational prowess. Jackson, who was 6 foot 10, was an exceptional athlete. Even though he was a 450 pound giant who sometimes weighed close to 500 pounds, he weighed anything from 360,000 to 500. Although 450 appears to be the most accurate number. The first major baller was Troy Jackson, having a personality and basketball skills greater than his 500 pounds. On the court, Jackson made an odd figure. Jackson earned the moniker Escalade when he dunked on an opponent with such force that the defender was knocked to the ground. His presence led many there to compare him to the Raja Big Sport Utility Vehicle. He went on to launch other less well-known street ball tours, such as Ball Up, and is unquestionably regarded as a street ball legend. Simply put, Troy was an extremely skilled basketball player. For his girth, he was very nimble, despite being one of the finest players on the field. Troy was usually the heaviest player there weighing nearly close to 500 pounds. He was very talented, displaying natural ball handling skills, tremendous finesse near the rim, and a propensity for highlight reel performances. Street ball suited Jackson's big physique and distinctive style, characterized by ball handling alley-oops and dunks. Talent typically trumps teamwork. Troy Jackson was born in Queens on January 1st, 1973. Former NBA star Mark's younger brother, Jackson was a Knicks and other NBA guard. Troy, the younger brother, was shadowed by his older brother. Mark Jackson was his biggest cheerleader from the start. Troy grew up working near Madison Square Garden. Troy Jackson, an eight-year-old ball boy at Hills East High School on Long Island, weighed 500 pounds, 227 kilograms. He impressed Bill Hewley at Rucker Park. Troy, the coach at Wallace Community College in Selma, Alabama, subsequently enrolled there despite having weight issues and playing at 500 pounds or more. Jackson was multiple-time JUCO All-Region as a sophomore. Community college achievements earned Jackson a scholarship from Louisville University. Troy played football at Wallace Community College before attending Louisville. Louisville requires weight loss. Jackson followed a strict diet and dropped to 363 pounds by his final year at Louisville. Jackson played 20 Louisville games in two years, 3 points and 1.6 rebounds per game, against NBA prospects Tim Duncan and Dami Fordson in minutes. Under Denny Crum's bench, after graduation, he played the Harlem Globetrotters before deciding he wanted to play streetball at the greatest level. The AMD1 mixtape tour made Troy Jackson a famous streetball player in 2002. He was called Escalade and a streetball legend. On Sports Illustrated's cover because of his height, Jet Troy's showmanship earned him a significant following when playing with AMD1, according to the magazine. Antoine Eighth Wonder Scott told the Herald Sun that he can play seriously and entertain. Troy fought for STD control off the court. As a world-class athlete, Troy Jackson inspired young ball players and fans. Troy died asleep in February 2011. He died from hypertension. He died during the All-Star Weekend at 35. Mark told the New York Post that his younger brother was influential. He visited several countries and had a huge impact on people's lives. According to Mark, Troy was a fun person to be around. He was felt by so many individuals and he had a significant influence on the streetball community. The basketball world lost a nice one in Jackson Troy Escalade because he was a gentle giant who had a huge physique but a kind heart. That's it everyone. We would like to hear from you in the comments below. Make sure you are subscribed along with turning on the notifications. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you back in the following video.